Welcome everybody to another edition of High School Sports Weekly brought to you by OS1 Sports Injury Clinic. I'm Chris Stewart along with Susan Crothers and we've taken the show on the road. We have. We are here on site at the Bryant Jordan Awards in downtown Birmingham. It's going to be a really exciting night where we honor high school athletes from all over the state. Some of the best of the best in the state of Alabama and we'll be talking about them this week on High School Sports Weekly presented by OS1 Sports Injury Clinic. When it comes to an injury, you shouldn't have to be a professional athlete to get professional care. In fact, you shouldn't have to be an athlete at all. At OS1, we understand that orthopedic injuries occur to all types of people at all times of the day. Our convenient location allows you to get immediate attention without having to go to an emergency room. We have on-site digital x-ray and MRI and our sports medicine specialists are fellowship trained and are here to get you back to it, whatever it might be. The best part is that OS1 is generally less expensive than the ER and our decreased wait times make sure you are able to spend less time waiting and more time getting better. For more information or to book an appointment, please visit our website at bettersooner.com or just come to our Hoover location. OS1 Sports Injury Clinic. Get better sooner. to High School Sports Weekly. Now, Chris, you've been hosting this event for how many years? It's 18 now. Wow. It's a great honor. I got a chance to uh, become the MC after the untimely death of Jim Fife, uh, a friend to so many around the state. So it was really special for me to get the opportunity. And for 18 years now, I've had the privilege of being the, the master of ceremonies at this great event, which you are going to tell us about. That's right. Named after two Alabama sports legends, Paul Bear Bryant and Ralph Shug Jordan, the Bryant Jordan Awards is a crown jewel of the state of Alabama. The Bryant Jordan Awards honors every year high school athletes in two categories. The scholar athlete category honors students who have achieved academic and athletic success. In the achievement category, athletes are honored who have overcome unusual circumstances or challenges in their life. Founded in 1986, the Bryant Jordan Award started as a program that awarded $8,000 in scholarship money. It has grown today to a program that awards over $800,000 in scholarship money to high school athletes across the state of Alabama. My life in sports, uh, as a middle schooler, I played football, but I came away from football and I really wanted to do something else, and so someone had recommended to me that I go to track and field. and do throwing and so I started with discus and I picked it up real quick and I really enjoyed it I enjoyed the individualism we missed last year sadly but then this year our our track team won the indoor state championship and I came third in shot put and I'm looking forward to a good state meet in shot put and discus upcoming academically I really enjoy stem so science and mathematics I've always really enjoyed my sophomore year I took uh, AP Physics, and so that kind of inspired me to continue with physics. And so I've taken as many physics classes as I can, and I'm planning on majoring in physics at uh, Florida State University, going there on a scholarship from, due to the National Merit Corporation as a National Merit Scholar. What I would say to younger kids would be challenge yourself. You do not know your true potential until you go out and you try. Work, work hard, and challenge yourself. You may not get it, but in high school, in college, in your early life, it's the best time to experiment and test your limits. And so I think just challenge yourself to be your best. Um, 
I was diagnosed in 2009 with stage four um, ovarian cancer. I had originally had a 96% mortality rate, and after about six rounds of chemo, um, stem cell transplant, multiple um, abdominal surgeries, I was pronounced cancer-free, and I went on living my life. I began running, and then I relapsed again in 2013, right when I was about to turn the age 13. Again, with with ovarian cancer, where I was forced to endure um, six more rounds of chemo, maintenance chemo for about a year after that, and several several more abdominal surgeries. Um, since then, I've continued running, and I've had some complications, but not enough to stop me from running. Um, I started running in about sixth grade. I went and practiced with the middle school because I was too small to do anything else well. And um, since then, I've run. I ran cross country and track at Bumpus Middle School, and then I went on to run at Hoover, where I've been forced to have. I've been. I went on to run at Hoover, where I had many obstacles that forced me to stop, take time off running and get slower, unfortunately, but each time I fought back and ended up running varsity cross country my junior and senior year. I'm going to the University of Alabama. Well, actually, I was very fortunate to play for Coach Bryant in the early 60s. And as I sat there tonight on the stage, I looked around and I think I was the only person in the room who actually played for Coach Bryant. Many of the others, unfortunately, have passed away or are not active in the event. But then once um, I got on the board of directors of the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in the mid-1980s, and I was there at the board meeting when we started talking about expanding the, the student-athlete part of the, of the Hall of Fame. And we came up with the idea to do something called the Achievement Award. And that was to recognize kids who may not necessarily be the valedictorian or the salutatorian of their class, but through extraordinary effort, they achieved things they would not otherwise have achieved. And so I was very fortunate to be part of that. And uh, the second year that the Bryant Jordan was in effect, uh, we, my, we gave a scholarship, a medical scholarship. And so I learned this afternoon that it's the second longest running scholarship right after the, the big award for the, for the student athlete. So to date we have given 46 scholarships to young men and women who became physicians. And tonight's award winner was outstanding. She was an incredible young woman, Lindsay Smithy from here in Birmingham, Mount Brook High School. And she plans to be a physician. I understand she has a scholarship at Northwestern and not only wants to be a physician, but wants to be involved in research as well. Um, the, the message I wanted to send was just um, handling adversity, um, you know, through sports, um, throughout their journeys. It's, it's always going to be a lot of adversity, even through life. So that was the biggest message I wanted to send, send to the athletes. Um, it's just that battling through adversity, it sometimes gets tough, but you can always fight through it. Um, so um, went to high school, uh, played at the, uh, sports there, went on to continue sports at Alabama, and uh, was able to get drafted to go to Baltimore uh, with the Ravens. And I've been there for um, four years now, going on five. And um, we're going to continue to be there um, for some time. And currently, I help out. Uh, Coach the hurdles at Hoover High School. I've been doing that for, I've been doing that for four years as well. So since I've been in the NFL, I've been doing that in the off season. Okay, is it hard to balance that NFL time and that off season time back at home? Or? Um, it's it's not too bad. Um, I spend a lot of time with the kids. Um, so um, I use them there Monday through Friday, and then at the meets on Saturdays, unless I have a different obligation or anything. But usually I'm that's I spend my whole weekday really. And Sunday I kind of get to myself.